Superbase is built around Postgres, and of course, Postgres is using schemas. So what are schemas? Well, actually, a schema, it's a named container for database objects, such as tables, views, sequences, indexes, functions. Schemas are a way to organize the separations and to organize your database objects. A schema is essentially a namespace that contains one or more objects. By default, there is a schema called public. So here, when I go back to my table, we can see up here that we can select the current schema we are on depending the tables. So when I click here, I can select, for instance, Hoth, and we see that I access new tables. So we understand that Hoth and public are two different schema containing their own tables. So by default, this schema is the default schema, public, okay? And all objects uh, created without specifying a schema will end up in public by default. So why do we need such a thing? Why do we need schemas? Well, I told you first, it's for the organization. You can separate some parts of your application directly through the schemas. Of course, schemas are used to manage permission. Let's say that some part of your application, you will need to be available only for admins. You would do some schema like admin, or you would have the public that would be for public, etc., etc. You can create as much schema as you want, and you can determine actually to who you want to uh, build this schema for. Schemas are also amazing to avoid naming conflicts. Here on public, I got a table user, all right, with two columns. But if I go on Hoth, I also got a table user depending on another source of data. So I have Hoth.users, but I got also public.users. So here we avoid the match between two tables that got the same name, but don't get the same columns, the same model. Schemas are also amazing to facilitate the multi-tenancy of your application. So what does it mean? Well, let's imagine that you got multiple clients and you want the customer to share data. Each client can have their own schema. Those multiple clients, it helps them to keep the data separated and organized. Basically, a schema provides some help to separate the concerns of your table, to manage and secure your database, particularly when the size is going to grow up and the complexity is going to make trouble to your developers to understand where are the data exactly and to not mix the database names. Okay, so let's get back to the SQL editor and we are going to create our first schema. So here I got a create schema sales. It will create the schema sales. So I'm going to create a table and here it's going to be the name of the schema. So sales dot customers. All right. And inside here, I'm going to have what? I'm going to have an ID type UUID and it's going to be actually um, not null, primary key. Here we are. Then we would have a name, it would be a text, okay? And an email that would be a text also. Here we are. So I'm going to click on run and look, success, no row return. I'm going to get back to my table. And if I go to schema, suddenly I got the schema sales, okay? So I'm going to click on sales and now I got the customer with, which is actually empty right now, but I created a separated part of my application through the schema. So now I got the public and I can have the schema sales if I want to store customer somewhere else in a different business logic or a different part of concern of my application.